Hello, and thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation today. The title of today's presentation is Journey to Recovery, Stories from Cardiopulmonary Rehab Patients. Today we'll be reviewing the real-life stories of individuals who have been through cardiopulmonary rehab. We'll also be examining how values and valued activity may be related to your participation here at cardiopulmonary rehab. Cardiopulmonary rehab is all about making lifestyle behavior changes. For instance, maybe you're trying to start an exercise program for the first time, or trying to increase your exercise, or you'd like to make some changes to your diet. Your team is here to help you make those changes to health behaviors, in order to increase your quality of life, and in order to live a healthier, happier life. But changes can be hard, especially when those changes are behaviors you haven't engaged in in a very long time, or when those behaviors don't fit with your values. Here are some examples of value change. You'll notice that the values are highlighted in red. One example of value change might be starting a walking program so that you can be more active with friends and family in the future. So maybe walking wasn't important for someone in the past, but now it seems more important when they can link it to their value of remaining active and their values of remaining connected to friends and family. Another example might be learning to cook healthy meals to cook for friends. So maybe it was difficult to cook healthy meals in the past, but connecting that to spending time and connecting with friends makes cooking healthy meals a little bit easier. Take a moment to review a few more of these examples and think about do any of these values apply to you and any of the value changes that you're trying to make right now. Now let's look at a patient story and see how values can be connected to engagement in cardiopulmonary rehab. Gail is a 64-year-old woman who is recovering from a severe pulmonary embolism. She now attends pulmonary rehab in order to regularly exercise and prevent any further damage. Gail also has an 8-year-old grandson named Jason who suffers from asthma. Throughout his life, Gail has always been a role model for Jason, and he always looks to her for advice. So for Gail, her motivation for attending pulmonary rehab is really driven by her goal to be able to continue to inspire Jason and encourage him to push past his own physical limitations. Can you see how her values and wanting to connect with her grandson and inspire her grandson now motivate her? to participate in cardiopulmonary rehab? Let's look at one more example. Henry is a 67-year-old man who is recovering from a recent bypass surgery and is now attending cardiac rehab. Henry has always been someone who encourages and motivates others and helps those who are struggling in his church family. He really values this work. But he's never really been one to exercise. And he's been struggling a lot with fears about exerting himself after the surgery. So after overcoming some of these initial fears at cardiac rehab, it's now really become a place where Henry can motivate other patients. Therefore, coming to cardiac rehab has provided a new place for Henry to help others and encourage others who may be having difficulty. He's also considering starting a walking group at his church so he can help others improve their health while also building community. Can you see how Henry has connected his values to his engagement in cardiac rehab? The last two narratives I shared were developed by our team here at Cardiopulmonary Rehab, but don't represent the experiences of real life patients. 
we thought that you may benefit from hearing stories from patients who have been through the program here at Cardiopulmonary Rehab. So we interviewed 17 of your peers, listened to their stories, heard about their experiences, and then we combined their stories into one broad narrative that captured the themes that people talked about the most. We'd like to share this story with you and hope that it really captures the journey from beginning to end through cardiopulmonary rehab. We're also happy to provide you with a text version of this if you'd like it. The next few slides present the patient narrative. The scariest moment of my life was on a cold November night a few months ago. It was just one of those times where everything was just happening all at once. I was shopping with my 10-year-old granddaughter, Sophie, at a department store, and I couldn't catch my breath. I kept trying to keep up with my granddaughter, who was bouncing between the aisles far ahead. But the more I walked, the more I felt like my lungs were going to collapse. As I pushed myself further, I suddenly felt this burning sensation in my chest, and I collapsed. All I remember before passing out was my granddaughter screaming for me to get up. Fast forward to two weeks after my heart attack, when my doctor first referred me to cardiopulmonary rehab, my first reaction was fear. Utter fear. I've never really been active before in my life. I was always more worried about other things like taking care of my family, working tough jobs to provide for them, and taking time to do the things I actually enjoy. And the more I exerted myself in the gym, the more I felt like I did the day I had my heart attack. You know, if I walked another minute, my lungs were going to collapse. I soon realized, though, that I would not make it through this rehab if all I thought about every week was how much I wanted to quit. I realized after my heart attack that the important things in life, you know, the things you value like family, are what really keeps you motivated. I want to be with my family for as long as I humanly can. What kept me going was my granddaughter, Sophie. You know, she's my sunshine. And every time I got down, I thought, you got to be up and about for Sophie because she loves you as much as you love her. The reason I kept coming back was the thought of being able to play with my grandkids one day, just playing catch without getting out of breath. Sometimes I thought about skipping rehab, but it showed up every day because I need my independence and that feeling that I have control over my life. Because my husband was never really around, I'm used to being mom and dad, and I definitely don't like people worrying about me. When I went through a rough patch, I met a couple of ladies. I would see them pour their heart out at rehab, just pushing and sweating, and yet also not overworking themselves. I walked over once and that's how I met Linda. She'd gone through a lot of the same things I had and we joked about who could sweat the most each session. Linda's part of the reason that I still show up. My friends and I, you know, we're here for each other. While I could barely walk across the room without feeling out of breath when I first started rehab, I'm now able to keep up with Sophie and even play with her outside. I had no idea that this experience would impact me it was hard to keep going at times, but I had to keep telling myself, I'm going to make it, and I'm going to beat this and be there for my family. The staff and patients of the rehab center were always there for me, and I'm so glad that I went through with it. In the end, I couldn't be happier. I've accomplished my goals and much more. I feel healthy and happy, and I haven't felt this way in a long time. After my last rehab session, I'm going to celebrate with my family, and I'm going to spend more time with my granddaughter. I'm going to continue exercising to make sure that I'm here for my family until the end. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this narrative, this patient story. Let's take just a few moments to reflect on your reactions to the story. Were there parts of the story that really seemed true for you? in your experience here at cardiopulmonary rehab?
can you identify certain values which really help this patient and their journey to recovery? How do your values help with the changes you're trying to make here? Thank you again for taking the time to listen to our presentation, and I hope it's given you some insight into the journey that many of your peers have as they go through cardiopulmonary rehab.